How to become a web front end developer in 2024? This is the beginner's bootcamp. And here I will take you by the hand from zero to hero. So let's dive right into it. By the way, this is just a sample of what you will get on my course on Udemy, become a web front end developer 2024 beginners bootcamp. If you wanna have the full version, head to my description link. The way we're gonna do it is, we're gonna use the same template that we use before with the list when instead we're gonna convert this into this quiz so this is the answer uh, pause now if you want to do it if not I'm gonna give you the answer right now okay so first of all we need to change the title and we change the title here full boot camp it's great Okay, that's gonna be the title. Now, if we want this element over here, it looks uh, a big element, it looks like uh, big letters, so what do we do? It's simple. It's This becomes, actually we're gonna leave this paragraph there, and we're gonna type H1, headings. We learned already, I think on part two, we learned about uh, HTML basics part two video we learn about headings that there are uh, at least six headings but we're gonna use now the H1 heading so we're not gonna type it we already typed it here on the title so I'm gonna grab it from here control C then control V I drop it so we have that let's reload for for fun to see if if this is uh, giving me any results yeah see we already have the title over here starting to look similar so what else do we need we need the image and remember the tag it's called EMG and it's what we learn it's EMG is an empty element so it doesn't have a closing tag. So just type e IMG, image element, and that's all. And now we're gonna put the attribute. Also, we learned that, source, SRC. Then we always put quotes, double quotes, it's suggested. And then you give the path images. 001 like that now if I reload this it's gonna give me a big big image remember one of the videos we did that as well and then it was looking not that good so instead we're gonna give another attribute we're gonna give it some width with an equal sign two quotes and we're gonna make it 360 that's the pixels the width then what we're gonna do we're gonna give it some height as you can see notepad plus plus is giving us the height here and over here we're gonna type in uh, 160 oh we forgot to close here you see it was a little mistake it's good that we're doing it live so you can see we forgot one quote there's always two quotes the opening quote and then the closing quote okay so now we have the image element let's reload and you're gonna see that it's starting to look now we're missing here we're gonna reload we're missing the image what's happening boom now we have the image we're doing great uh, now let's go back to the exercise so what else we need a sentence at full bootcamp uh, it's a great community I'm not gonna type all this you can type it or you can it's just text I'm just gonna copy from here and I'm gonna put it on a paragraph there you have it 
Now what we need, we need a list. Since we already have the list here, we already have it here. Now we just need to change this to developers enthusiast okay and then finally thinkers okay you we can we can erase this we don't need it anymore and we're going to remove the order list then we need another paragraph it's a big paragraph with some dummy text lorem in some we already show you where to get this and now we're gonna create another paragraph with an open tag closing tag and now we just copy here control v all right so we have that but remember that this is italic italic text so how do we do an italic text remember we're gonna use em tag with the em element this is the opening tag okay em and then forward slash to close it and we close it here and then we can take this guy here Lauren Epson we're gonna put it here so we emphasize Lauren Epson and it's gonna make it italic and I think there was okay over here learn is that we already have the link since we already learned about the link we already have the website learn more at so let's put a paragraph here p learn more just like that and a p and we're gonna do some nesting remember we learned about nesting so how do we nest we take one element and we put it inside the other element so what we're gonna do we're gonna cut this guy and put it right here okay so now we're nesting an element we we are nesting the link the anchor link to the paragraph element Okay, so let's change this to full bootcamp blog. And I think we're done, but uh, yeah, there was another thing that I did was make this, as you can see, is bolt. So one way to bolt would be to use the strong element and we just gonna close it here there you have it so let's refresh this is what we had remember this is what we were working with now if I refresh boom you have a full page with a title with an image with a list with paragraph emphasize words bold you can do something pretty good right now if you got your until here you can actually do something not that bad a website uh, looking like uh, like something you can actually display ready to transform from a complete beginner to a skilled web developer welcome to the ultimate beginner's guide and become a web developer in 2023 my course on udemy is your passport to mastering web development 
with ease. Designed especially for beginners, this course covers the essential pillars from HTML, PHP, JavaScript introduction, Angular, and the real roadmap you need in 2023 to become a web developer. But that's not all. What sets this course apart is the inclusion of the FB system. What is the FB system? It's a full bootcamp in seven steps. This system is your guide to understanding, memorizing, and implementing the code effectively. Say goodbye to confusion and hello to confidence as you navigate all the complexity of web development. Moreover, this course isn't just about learning. It's about becoming career ready or job ready. Equip yourself with soft after skills in PHP for dynamic web applications. Learn to implement crucial user authentication, making your projects not just functional, but job ready. And by the end of this course, you won't just be fluent in web development languages, you'll be equipped with secure opportunities in the field of web development. Increase the chances of being higher and step confidently into the world of web development. So don't miss out on this transformative journey and roll now the ultimate beginner's guide in 2023 become a web developer in 2023 so don't waste more time click on the link on the description and enroll right now